first in this third round match. Ready. Clean start from the American. Notice the strapping on the knee. She's got both ankles taped as well, so There's no precaution one. at all. I always wondered how players can play with so much tape on. I mean, whenever I had to tape something a little bit, I was like, I feel like so restricted. Players such flat hitters of the ball. See which side either chooses to attack. We're going to see a lot of body serves from Danielle, just like the last one. It's such a smart one. Get someone as tall as Elena is. Hitting. Yeah, I don't measure it as such in tennis, but Atlanta's wingspan, <laughs> like they measure it in basketball with a player, it'd be right up there. Definitely. She moves incredibly well for being as tall as she is. to hit over as well with those long levers. Well, both girls did their homework in the warm-up because they came out here firing the timing on both ends. It's quite impressive right from the start. from Elena there, kept her eyes really closely trained on the movements of Collins and, and guessed the right way even before contact. She was heading that way. two flat headers but we've got two diametrically opposed players in terms of emotional state on court. Danielle will always be vocal and really pump herself up and Elena, you wouldn't know if she's just won the jackpot or if she just lost her last $10. Yeah, it couldn't be more different, could it? <laughs> Absolute contrast here as far as emotions go.
Wiseman with that backhand. Another break point. Oh, what a redirection that is for the break. Hot start from the Kazakh. That's uh, evident of a player that's obviously striking the ball quite well. <laughs> yep, that's called a perfect timing. But just referring back to the emotions uh, with Rybakina, it's an interesting one because I feel like being as emotionally free, would you call it? It helped her in the Wimbledon final big time because she didn't get really tight, you know, being first big occasion for her. She wasn't nervous, but then at times I feel like she could do with a little bit more emotions on the court when she's not playing great. Like you said, outside of Wimbledon title, the season was okay. And sometimes you need, you know, to, to be a little bit more fired up on the outside as well to mm. kind of show the opponent that, you know, you're, you're there. So it's, uh, it's about finding the right balance. After that Wimbledon final, she, she kept everything, even in the, the on-court speech, yep. everything was on a level. And it wasn't until the pressing, she got through most of the, and they're really long press conferences, obviously for the winner. She got through the press conference, it was like, yeah, kept it all in check. And then she was asked about her parents, who mm -hmm. weren't allowed to come to London and watch. And then she lost it. So yep. everything was bottled up. Yep. Yep. have that unemotional veneer that eventually got broken down by those. Pesky journalists. Which I am happily will say I am one. Not a very good one, but yeah, you know. No, for, for sure, she was uh, nervous and uh, stressed on the inside. She just did such a good job not showing anything. But what I'm saying is that sometimes she, I think she could do with expressing how she feels out there, especially when she's down in matches. It's that weapon of hers. Swing through the ball, isn't it? The the uh, Rubikina serve. Everything she does is just so simple. Great depth on that return. One thing she does so well, she's done at Wimbledon as well. She not on, only hits the ball so clean, but the depth on her shots, it's quite inspiring. Oh. 
Valentina last year, she unfortunately had to withdraw in the second round of the Australian Open. She pushed or got to the final of Adelaide, which Ash Barty won. Uh, had to pull out of Sydney. Got through a first round match, but left thigh injury in a second round match. Forced her withdrawal when obviously she was playing really well in Adelaide. So that stopped her in Australia in 2022. Punching there from Collins. 14, Would you say this is quicker than the US Open? This place, or? That's a good question. <sighs> really similar. It depends so much on the weather, too. So when it's hungry, that. Thank you at the back of the pools. Fifteen lava. This is the problem for Collins if Rebekina is in a serving mood like we think she's in at the moment, having witnessed these 13 minutes on court when she's had the serve. It's how does the American punch holes in this? Backs it up with that. Not a bad play from Collins there, neutralising the grip just to, to block it back on the front foot. Well, it's a little bit similar to another Wimbledon champion, Petra Kvitova, when they are in that zone of, you know, serving great, first good shot, uh, you just feel like you're picking up the balls and going from one side to another. Not much Collins can do. from Collins. Good depth. 14, Okay, it's wavering a little all of a sudden. Gave her a compliment and <laughs> look what happens. That's a part of the core that I would always target with Ribakina. It's that low slice to her forehand. She, she doesn't feel co as comfortable as with the backhand side when she has to approach. But it has to be low, so she has to bend. little opening there for Collins. She loses the game. Do you get confidence from something like that, though? Well, hopefully that one point she won by, you know, giving that little chip to Rebakina forehand that should show her that she needs to change up the rhythm a little bit because if she just hits the ball as hard as she can, you know, in, in the long run, 
Rybakina is going to come on top of those kind of rallies. So she needs to hit a few slices, maybe try drop shot. I know it's not her natural style, but uh, just uh, keep changing the rhythm a little bit if she can. Thirty fifteen. Is that one of the more powerful babalats that she's uh, she's wielding there? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I tried that racket. I don't think there is any any other racket that flies. <laughs> the ball flies more than with that one. Oh, shot! Right down the line. Didn't waver at all. 14, 13. It's the same racket that Caroline Borzniaki used to use, and uh, when you look at their ball techniques, they're very similar, actually. The way they strike the ball. From Elena, back to Juice. Just gotta keep serving to that forehand side, body and forehand. She's not gonna go too far if she goes to Ribakina backhand. Oh. Yeah, that's the serve. Try to target that all day long. A real battle now. Yeah, Elena would love to get a double break here just to get into that comfort zone in the first set. So she goes body with this serve. <laughs> Took a risk going to <laughs> Elena's forehand. Oh, 
shank and Rubikina has the double break. First set, Key Arena looking good, the Wimbledon champ. The furniture in the house, which it, it looks fine, but it was working well beforehand. Just yeah, pretty much. It, go, hey, it goes okay. on and off the court. Fair enough, fair enough. Here's Elena serving with the double break. Three-quarter ball like that on her forehand, she's going to take advantage every single time, or try to. It's such an easy power too. Not much that can go wrong with that beautiful technique. of intensity, Collins, in the last couple of minutes. And that's one thing when you are out there on your own without a real coaching guide. Mm. This is what can happen. Sometimes you can kind of get lost and go away from your tactical plan. Sometimes that's all coaching is about, having someone behind you looking after whatever you decide to do, that you're actually sticking with it. So I get it that it's sometimes good to be on your own and figure things out, but then this is what can happen. Flowing at the moment for the Wimbledon champion. Been on court 25 minutes. Yeah, she has hardly done anything wrong, Rebakina, in this first set, the first couple of games. It looked like it was going to be very tense, but then she just uh, pushed it to the next level. I saw a, a young player with enormous potential on this court yesterday, Linda Rivertova. Wow. Yep. Mm. Is she 85 in the world at the moment? Not for long. Yeah, the Czech tennis definitely knows how to produce That's talent enough. after talent <laughs> for the last, what, 15 years or so. Mm. 82 at the moment, yeah, 17 year old. Yeah, I've seen Linda a couple of years ago already and I uh, was quite impressed back then. And a little sister goes okay too. She qualified at the age of 15 oh, for this Australian yeah. Open. Yep. Brenda. This is better from Collins, much needed. I'll be all in vain for this first set, but to find rhythm on serve at any point is important. one of those special things that you know the big champions have like I, I i saw exactly the same with coco golf in a very different way as far as her technique goes and athleticism but they have that ability of just being a little bit smarter out there at a very very young age you look at ash ash barty who I mean, it took a, a little 
longer for her to, to get up to speed physically mm. because of her natural attributes physically. It took a while to develop, but she always had the hands and the smarts and the cleverness around around the court. So once that, that other aspect caught up. Yeah, it's the tennis IQ mm. with a couple of those special players that you see at a very young age and uh, you just know that, wow, there's a big future ahead of them. I think your first coach, Jim, up in Brisbane, Ash Barty, saw her for the first time and went, wow, we're doing well to stuff this up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need to change too much. Another booming serve from Rebekina. I think Two points away. I practiced first time with Ash when she was about 14. Mm. And I thought, yeah, this, this is going to be crazy special. She'll be good. What a way to win the set, emphatic from the Wimbledon champion. A set to the good. From the American's perspective, looking for a reset. I think she definitely needs to stick with it. It's those body serves because I would say 80% of the time she gets three points there. It's yeah. <laughs> always a good option. <laughs> Better at her own game. It's right in the hitting zone for Collins. Yeah, Rebecca didn't do enough at that last backhand. Had a chance to move Collins around. Zone. Well, that serve didn't really have a placement. Not the body serve. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get it there every time. Sometimes it doesn't quite come off, but I could just imagine Darren Cahill saying that as well. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing Darren. <laughs> yeah. Important hole to start the second set for Daniel Collins. Game, so Darren's not feeling on top of the world right now, even though his man, Yannick Sinner, who he's helping, has come from two sets to love down. Uh, Darren was calling the Andy Murray match last night, so uh, 
<laughs> yep. One hit off for a nap this <laughs> time, <laughs> maybe. Do you, do you reckon he actually went back to the hotel or he might have just stayed here? Just stayed here. Yeah. <laughs> just went out to Margaret Court Arena at 6 a.m. and just stayed in the seat until Yannick walked out on court. <laughs> That would have been actually maybe a little bit less painful than going back to the hotel while getting, what, two hours sleep and... Yeah, something like that. Crazy night here. Well, when you think about it, they were the first match on, so they would warm up by 9 a.m., so he literally had, like, three hours. Surely he skips the warm-up. Surely Yannick says, because he's got his other members of his team here. I think. Uh, maybe. Hey, if you're going to cash two checks in a week, you've got to keep both yeah. paymasters happy. <laughs> <laughs> what a match that was. You see the end of it with your jet lag? Yeah, I just woke up for, <laughs> for the, <laughs> the last, last set, so the timing was perfect. Ow. 15 love. Where Collins in the second set has to take these kind of opportunities. And the easy second serve there, she's got to try to do more with the ball. Put Rebakina under more pressure because at the moment Elena is not stressed out there. She's feeling very comfortable. Work on that. Bikina fizzed off the court. And that's a statistic that Colin simply has to improve if she's going to get a look at her second serve. Yeah. With the big hitters like Rybakina, like Kvitova, like Lindsay Davenport's of the games, one of the very rare opportunities you're going to get is the second serve, that you can actually do something with it to be more ready. how technology has developed in tennis. Imagine 10 years ago if I said to you, Daniela, that oh, 10 years time we're going to have no lines judges and by the time you turn around to take your next serve you'll be able to see exactly on a big screen behind you where the ball landed. It's, it's, it's crazy how much the technology has changed and uh, you know as a player you always remember those matches where you wonder if the line call went your way how things would have been different. I'm sure it stays in everyone's memory, a couple of those. on that occasion. 15 love. Yeah, and much better tactical approach there for Collins. This, she's trying to do something different with that higher ball. Just try to make the rallies a little bit longer. It's not easy when someone hits the ball as well as Rybakina, but got to try to find a way. I don't think your crew's going to tell her if it was in or not. It was eight millimeters. Oh. 
30-15. Did you have one of those close calls in your semi-final here? Sorry to bring up a memory for you. Was there? That one was not about <laughs> close line calls. <laughs> but it was one of those matches that uh, took a long time to recover from. I bet. Yeah. Sorry to bring it up. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's been only, what, uh, 10 years of therapy, but, you know, I'm fine now. <laughs> okay, good. But that was another final against Kim Kleisters, actually, in uh, Fielderstadt, yeah. where we used to play for the for the cars. And uh, it was third set, I made an ace. Uh, for the cars? <laughs> uh, can I say the brand? <laughs> sure, Kia will be OK, as long as I go one for one with Kia. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was a close call, and they kept then you know showing the match on TV <laughs> with a slow re <laughs> review of the <laughs> serve. Oh. Hold from Collins, so we're on serve in this second set because of something completely different. Yeah, and that's a tough tough thing to face and and be pr brutally honest with yourself. Like, okay, why am I getting stressed here? Because that has nothing to do with uh, with the warning. Didn't know we were doing a little therapy window here. Oh, sorry, <laughs> get off track here. Meant to be commentating a tennis match. No, it is. As we all know, 90% mental. This sport of ours, isn't it? All sport. Let's listen. Oh. Thirty love. Again, just dropping it a little bit too short for Ribakina to feel very comfortable with her forehand striking. Gotta find the depth, Collins. feet on that occasion. 30, Tries to get them going after the point. And it was much deeper return from Collins. She needs to find that land more often. Just fantastic striking from Ribakina. With that technique on her backhand, she can just hit shots like that from any place on the court. Backhand get there from the Wimbledon champion. Two games on second set. Collins must have thought off the racket. It's not a winner, it's an unreturnable. Yeah, and it's the way she moves to that backhand. It's so explosive. First two steps. Very powerful.
that was <laughs> impossible to get for yeah. Elena. That's how good Collins has to hit her shots to have any chance against Rybakina today. So that was a good return, but even a better response from Collins. Clean winners. Collins resetting by turning around back to the opponent. The Sharapova. <laughs> Not to that extent of going all the way back and deep breaths and the like. Love a first serve here. Oh, deserve better than that from that forehand. Bikina says sorry. Collins 40, keeps the profanity it. inside somehow, <laughs> but thinking it. Oh, that's unlucky. Well, this is where she does need to take a little bit of extra time to recover because she is playing much better in this game. Just got lucky there, but still another game point opportunity. Big one here. Got a serve there because that's where she gets the short ball and much more impressive game from Collins. Collins needs the moment, Collins. She's she's lifted her level a little. Daniela. Yeah, that's what she likes to do. She, um, like we said before the match, you know, she, it took her a while to get into the third round, and um, she normally starts to play. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Her best tennis right. in the later stages of the match. So I wouldn't be surprised if she knows keeps up you. with that intensity so a big service game here for Rybakina to kind of keep the momentum on her side well easy to do with serve like that yeah <laughs> it helps when you got that to, to base your uh, base your game around and you're getting calls like that <laughs> Just not sure about the position where Collins is receiving at the moment. You know, she's trying to give Rybakina a different look, but to me she's just staying, you know, almost where Rafa likes to return. And I think for any girl to hit a good return from that distance, she's got to move up the court a little bit. She's not going to go anywhere with. I mean, Rybakina is obviously serving great, but mm. it's just such a tough position to be at. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah. 
game Is he hold? Not what Collins needs at Lincoln. the moment. Oh, one of her best, and there's been a few today. She's so good in the corners. 15 on. Ladies and gentlemen, up please the line not shots. out during the point. Thank you. She's able to find winners from very difficult positions, Rubakina. Alison Hughes, just a reminder to the crowd. Danielle, not too happy about some, some chatter during the point. May have been in transit, but uh, Danielle got a little confused in her second round match. She claimed victory when the match tiebreak was only at, she was at seven and not ten in the third set. I can kind of feel with her because a similar thing happened to me a couple of years ago. shots in a row on that line about that same spot that have missed by oh, less than a total of six inches it was desperately close again On serve. Three sets. Figure it out a way through. Roller coaster within you know, a couple of seconds. Danielle dropped a racket like she'd won the tournament, <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, she had three more points to win. Four. Bigger issue here is how on earth she punches a hole in the Rebekina serve. She got away with it there, but she Love has to find a way to be more aggressive whenever she has a second serve return. That one was in the middle of the court. Bakina just gave it away, but that's where Daniel has to find a way to be more aggressive. She hasn't had a break point opportunity. Collins? Super aggressive, gets it to love 30. Love 30. Better intensity here for Collins, also staying closer to the baseline on her returns. Just a more aggressive attitude here.
15, That's, That's so frustrating. Miss though. 30 or mm -hmm. maybe not 15 30. So 15 30, maybe get the ball. Yeah. No. I, at least she was more aggressive. She tried to do something with it. No. So pressure points, which are points that lead to a break point or a set point. Go in the way of Bikina at the moment. Totally got ahead of, ahead of herself. Eventually get it out. Collins. Uh, because she hasn't been aggressive enough on the second serve returns throughout the match, now she's you know going the other way, mm. just uh, going for too much. Misses there from Collins, got it to love 30 for the first time in the match. She gets the advantage of serving with new balls here, but won't feel too good about herself for the next 30 seconds or so. How quickly can you let go of a regret like that? You have to. Yeah, you have to, but this one's going to hurt because basically Rebakina got away with that service game just uh, hitting second serves. And it's three easy returns she missed in a row. I li like I said, I liked the first one because she was really going after it, but then the last two just, um, yeah, make her back in a play as well. Forward to the net, does she? Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of the, part of the game that she can improve big time. Yeah, forward of that service line is like a. It's a no go zone. It's the. Uh, it's the man cave for the kids, basically. It's don't go there. <laughs> what do you call it in Europe? We call it a man cave. Like when, you know, it's. TV bar fridge. Yeah. <laughs> Similar, yeah. yeah. She uh, just doesn't 15 feel on. like she belongs there. Mm. Fifteen thirteen. Uh oh. Please, ladies and gentlemen, players are ready to play.
Oh. Wrong footed. Yeah, couldn't quite get to it. Maybe it was the right shot. Execution there from Eleanor. Going for too much. Ladies and gentlemen, as a coach, you yeah, yeah, he really have to be that close to the line. Motion. Thank you. I think she had enough time to actually hit over the shot with with the spins instead of the slice. Too powerful. Two in a row. Bang, bang. From Bikina. Brings up, I won't call it a virtual match point, but it's going to be pretty important for the outcome of this match, I feel. I don't know why Rebecca. She had it on her racket. Just didn't get under the ball. Yeah, it was a more convincing approach from Collins. Collins. Serve. Not holding back here, are they? But players aware of the importance of this game. Right serve. Advantage, Collins. That city there. My advantage from Collins. Collins. So that was a good return from Bukina. Even a better response. It's not exactly out of the middle that return. Effective though. Can't finish her off here, Collins, in this game. Took a while.
Please find a seat quickly at the ends of the court. Thank you. Any seat. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. for her first serve because it has dropped big time the percentage in the last couple of minutes literally just playing with her second serve mm. oh Ooh. nothing wrong with that one anything else what would you like for lunch <laughs> <laughs> it was uh it was what 80 percent in the first yeah. set Forty percent is forty love. It's gonna come, come back up. She keeps going like this now. To love. Five she now back on Collins. Yeah, Rebecca would love to get a break here because that's what one of Collins' strengths is that she starts to play her best tennis at the later stages of the matches. Mm. So when it gets this close, this is where she can be really dangerous. Drops in. Ellen is not convinced. Collins got away with that. I mean, it was a game that change up we've been looking for mm. in Collins' game, but it was just too short. But got away with it at the end. to get into that, like I said, after uh, one hour, hour and a half on the court. <laughs> That's where she normally starts to play her best tennis. Mm. Fighting, fighting. Not a typical Collins. Thank you. 
Oh. Yeah. And flames on it. Backhand. It's a beauty. Couldn't hit it any better. Just such a simple take back. Nothing that can go wrong technically from Rybakina. will force it upon her okay. opponent. It's pretty clever. Any seats for now, the closest seat available. Thank you very much. Thank you, behind the players, any seats. This is the tougher end slightly to serve. Mind you, we're into the, the mid-afternoon now, so should be out of the player's eye, especially right-hander. Solid from Rybakina. Keeping the importance of that last point. That's where it helps, being as emotionally mm. even as she has always been. Just doesn't seem to get too stressed under pressure. minute after I said it's perfect and it's just for tennis. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does feel like... A gust of wind just picked up there and changed the direction of the ball mid-air. Just because it was so perfect before, any little change, it would hmm. feel like a big one. <laughs> no. Thanks for trying to validate my statement <laughs> <laughs> somehow. <laughs> She had to wait a while. 83 minutes, in fact, for her first break points in terms of opportunity here, Collins, and they doubled as set points. Literally the only time the Wimbledon champ has been under pressure on her serve. And it's to level the match. She's done it. And no one should be surprised. Danielle Collins has got it back to a set apiece. We're off to a third. Final set, attitude. this third set now and uh, Daniela Hantakova the, the proud owner of the <laughs> player the most three set matches played oh. 
Are you an advocate for five-set women's tennis? I was. You were? <laughs> yes, I absolutely. I think, you know, it just shows the physicality, and obviously in my case, it would have helped me big time. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think, you know, a Grand Slam finals, definitely, would be a nice... Mm -hmm. Okay, tries the mid rally off pace ball there, Collins. 30, 15. Mm -hmm. A little bit more depth. Yeah, I think Wimbledon, uh, Grand Slam finals, best of five would be a nice, nice feature to have on the women's tour, definitely. You just better watch out here, Collins. This game is so, so important to keep the momentum of the second set on her side. She doesn't want to give anything away here to Rybakina. Let's first What a point. Best of the match by some distance. And Collins, who played so many great shots with her racket, flings it away in frustration. Elena, as she does, she just calmly walks back like nothing's happened. Yep. <laughs> She's just so good at not showing anything where Collins obviously being frustrated. Understandably so. It was a one backhand towards the end of that rally that she could have done so much more with. And her first drop shot of the match as well, in the midst of all of that. Yes. Break point against Collins. champion so that's a good response to the disappointment of dropping that second set and it all seemed in control on serve like, like like the camera's like down here you know what i'm saying whatever she's complaining about i think it's more the frustration of that last mm. service game that long rally
Please find a seat quickly, thank you. Any seat, thank you, at the back of the court. Serve very much needed now for Ibakina. Something she missed in her last couple of service games. Yeah, when she finds a rhythm, it's so hard to read that serve because her ball toss is perfect. It's always in the same position, so it's very difficult for her opponents to read where she's going to go with it. Let's first serve. Let us up. Can't place it any better. Forty fifteen. Eight millimeters was all was the difference there. Seen that too much, and she's picked off. 40, 30. Here, Bacchino. Taking a little bit of extra time in between the points. I wonder if she's starting to feel a little bit tired, but it's been only an hour and a half on the court. Just losing the intensity a little bit. with her shots through Bakina. She's been throughout the match. I don't want to give Collins the opportunity to come back because we know what she, what happens when she gets into 
into that fighting zone. She just becomes like a wall. That's what Ribakina doesn't want here. Oh, we've got the back of the line. She pulled out of the shot, Collins, and it was a costly decision. Oh, another one. Millimeters or micrometers. It's the only, uh, only decision to make which one of the two. And Collins now down two zip. She will not go away though. I know that for a fact. And I know this for a fact as well, Daniela. After the stat you told me, it's only fitting that we've got a third set battle here. <laughs> of course. About your record. Shot. But that's where Ibakina cannot afford to drop her intensity because, 15, no. you know, being such a big fighter as Danielle is, when she gets into it, she's not going to miss much. And uh, Ribakina will find it very difficult, so she needs to hold on to that break here. Yeah, good for footwork there for Ibakina. There was an easy ball. And a bit more wind. Just need those few little extra steps. But the way Danielle is, that uh, she goes down a double break here, she might feel that she has Elena right where she wants her in this third second. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Never makes it easy for herself. Or well, sometimes doesn't make it easy for herself, the American. So she's actually doing this on purpose. <laughs> two three days that that you think about if you're in the second week holidays okay on the changeover <laughs> first Fair week enough. it's just okay yeah <laughs> window where i'll sit <laughs> window or i'll 
Rubikino with the double break. Hasn't found it as comfortable last few service games. With the first serve. Still hovering it at 60%. First set was up in the 80s. First double of the match. The answer. 15, yeah, she got away with it because that second serve return again was a little bit too short. Rebakina had a chance to come in, just didn't do enough with that approach shot. First serve here, big time, Rebakina. Right shot though, she had the opportunity. Just a little bit too close to the line. Fastest serve of the match, 194 for Rybakina. It's got to be one of the fastest of the tournament. I think Koko Gov hit the fastest one the other night. 198, I believe. That's quick. Never done until she's done, Danielle Collins. Yes. Care if it's five love, 30 love against. It just doesn't give anything away when she's down in the matches. It just becomes so solid. It's 
where it's so important to have this hold for Ibokina because you just never know what can happen. 185 wide. <laughs> Using her height big time. Eventually too powerful in that point again for love consolidates the double break. Yeah, very impressive from Ribakina because she has to work for it big time. Colin's not giving away too much. But that was a great important hole. Shot. It's crazy to think, even though Rubakina is for love up, this still has a distance. <laughs> this match. <laughs> Just warning you. I wonder the world I'm getting ahead of myself. Now, saying that, that, having said that, it's going to be like six love. <laughs> Do you want to get it right here? As good as her comeback capabilities are, uh, five love ain't great. <laughs> So she's on the board, Collins. Breathes a little sigh of relief.
Ibikina serving it 4-1. That helps lively. Deep serve there. And the Wimbledon champion, who served so well at the championships and predicting that stat from earlier, second on the list of most aces, aces on tour in 2022. Caroline Garcia. Nearly 400 aces on tour last year. The, uh, the French woman who just lit it up in the second half of the season. American uh, hardcourt swing in particular was epic. And Ruby Keane wasn't far off, 370 in the year. Oh, on the run. What a shot. That's where she's so dangerous when she's pushed out wide to the corners. She loves to be in that position. Big, powerful second step there to launch out wide. Again. Just too solid. We've seen in that first set. It was so one-sided. The first serves, aggressive first first strike, and it's the biggest strength in Rybakina's game. I can't think of too many players on tour who can handle when she gets time on that cross-court forehand. How flat and hard yep. she hits it. That can get anywhere near it. The Collins serving to stay in the tournament. That one looked like it hurt. Yep. Something with the back. Needs a big serve here, Collins, and just get to the chair and have a think. Four. She's not getting up on the serve anymore. Well done. Tighter into the body serve there from Collins. Yeah. 
Bikina serving for it. And a place in the fourth round. Oh. Yeah, not comfortable left side, lower back. Mm. I if there's a connection, we don't need to been on the court for two hours, so you know, any little difference in your movement may affect the other part of the body. Yeah, the phone. Two Not points away now. Well. Yep. that shot to open up the court doesn't she absolutely loves it now she's got three match points the Wimbledon champion unfortunately had to retire in the second round of the Australian Open last year when she was playing well after making the final in Adelaide she's come to Australia this year in better shape clear mindset she's one big serve away from the last 16 that's all she needs. The Wimbledon champion playing like it. And she could well be a major contender next week. Impressive, apart from the end of the second set, Daniela, where Danielle just lifted her game a bit, finally got a break point opportunity. Won that, and it happened to be set point. Apart from that, either side. Rubikina is in good touch. Yeah, I think she's going to be very happy with her performance.